Hey guys, it's Sam, and in this video, I'm going to give you guys an update on the forthcoming iOS 6.1.3 and 6.1.4 jailbreak. So as you know, Apple did unfortunately block the ability to jailbreak in these two firmwares, and you are no longer able to jailbreak any device, even currently today, of course, iOS 7 isn't jailbreakable yet, but you cannot jailbreak any device today unless it's running a firmware iOS 6.1.2 or lower. So of course that made a ton of people angry, so many of my friends updated to 6.1.3 when I talked to them about jailbreaking, they of course couldn't jailbreak because of course they were on 6.1.3 or even 6.1.4 if they had an iPhone 5. So unfortunately that blocked a ton of people's ability to jailbreak, and for a couple months I mean all hope was lost, you just thought, well there's no hope, iOS 7 is going to be out, Who who's going to take the time to make a 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 jailbreak? However, recently a very kind man by the name of at Winocm on Twitter has been working diligently along with a few others in order to bring us this new iOS 6 jailbreak. So let me just give you guys some news. Some, he's been tweeting, he tweeted many times today, and we actually got some semi-concrete information that's really important I wanted to share it with you guys. So here we go, I'm going to go ahead and read the tweets and then break them down for you. So in the first tweet that I do want to show you guys, he did say, Thanks to everyone who are dumping iPad kernels, it helps a lot. Now if you aren't aware what a kernel is, which I wasn't really aware of what it is until I made this video and I kind of had to research it a little bit. Basically a kernel is just a certain file in a device that kind of fluctuates in, depending on what device you have. So for example, he wanted a bunch of different iPad dumps. So for example, he was contacting people with an iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad 4, and he was contacting various people to get where the file was on all of those devices in order to find out how to make the jailbreak possible. So hopefully that explains it a little better. That made me understand it better, that it's basically just a file that's located in a different spot on every iOS device that he needed in order to make the jailbreak work. So the next thing he did say was it speeds things up with the 6.1.3 slash .4 jailbreak a lot. So that's very good. That means that he's making huge steps and advancements in the right direction toward the 6.1.3 and 6.1.4 jailbreak. And now the next one, we finally got a rough estimate of when this thing is going to be out. He's tweeted out a definite ETA is before 2014. Now for those of you who are aware, I just was thinking about this as recording this. But we're on October 7th already, so we said it's going to be before the end of the year, which means we're going to be seeing this jailbreak tool within the next two and a half months, which is very, very exciting. I'm very psyched about it. I know a lot of my friends, like I mentioned before, are still holding out on 6.1.3 who may not have updated to iOS 7. But anyway, so we've definitely got an ETA. We're going to see this thing before 2014, which is very exciting. He tweets out, please be patient. We are all trying to get things done as soon as possible. So please don't go to his Twitter and contact him because this guy, this poor guy is bugged day and night about when this jailbreak tool is going to be released and it will be released when it will be released. This guy is working very hard. Please be grateful for what he's doing to taking the time to help you guys out. I hope you did enjoy this video, thanks a lot for taking the time to watch it, and if you want first-hand information, make sure you go to Twitter and follow at WinLCM. So once again, thanks a lot for watching this video, and I will see you guys later.